Hi friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 15th video in PyQt5 GUI development. In this video, we're going to learn about creating uh, message boxes in PyQt5. So for creating of the message boxes, we can use QMessageBox class. Now there are different types of message boxes that you can use in PyQt5. We have a warning message box, about message box, information message box, and uh, multi-choice message box and the different message boxes that we are going to create so now this is my uh, basically this is just a window code and that I've already created and you can see if I run this you can uh, I have just a simple window with a nice title and also icon now uh, first we need to import a QH box layout a Q message box and also Q push button. So first we need to create a method in here and I'm going to just call it diff create a message box. Uh, first we need to create an edge box layout because we want to align our widgets horizontally. After this we need four push buttons so btn1 q push button and it is warning uh, btn2 q push button it is information btn3 q push button this is about and also we have btn4 the last btn it is q push button and yes no or we can say multi-choice box multi-choice message box so now we need to add these uh, push buttons in our edge box layout so we can say edge box dot add a widget we can say btn1 and edge box dot add widget uh, btn2 and edge box dot add widget btn3 hbox dot add widget btn4 and also at the end you need to just set layout so self dot set layout to the hbox layout okay now because we need to call our this method in here and we can just say self dot create message box alright guys now this is our message uh, our push buttons now we need to create our message boxes so the first one is warning message so we are going to just say warning message and we can say q message box dot warning so the parent is self and uh, this is the title we are going to give it a warning and we can say this is a warning uh, message box so now we need to connect this with the clicked signal of the Q push button so in here we can just say btn1 dot clicked dot connect and it is cell dot warning message Now if I click on this, you can see that we have warning message box with nice icon, uh, title and also the text. Okay, now let's do this for the info message box. So div info, info message. And we can say q message box dot information the parent is self, the title is about oh sorry information so information and the text is we can give this as information message and let me just create the diff about and we need to copy this and paste it in here so this time it's about 
about about message uh, now let's connect this with the buttons btn2 dot click dot connect self dot about message box so in here we are going to connect the about message box method or slot with the clicked signal of the queue push button using connect method and we are going to just copy this uh, this time we want for the so the first I think so it's not about its info okay now we are going to run this so this is warning this is information uh, we have uh, yeah we need to change this to btn3 so information and about now let's create about uh, let's do this with the multi choice message boxes now for this the first thing I need I need to create a label uh, so first uh, I need to import Q V box layout in here and also Q label so now uh, the first thing I need because I'm using an edge box layout and my these buttons are aligned horizontally now I need a QV box layout and I want to add my this edge box layout in the view box layout also I want to add my label in the view box layout so view box and we can just say to view box layout uh, we can create a label self dot label Q label and this is for example text we can just set the phone self dot label dot set font Q font and uh, you can uh, press alt enter in the keyboard and you can see it we are importing from pygt 5qt GUI and you can give the family of the font and with the size of the font uh, you can just uh, you need to just add this uh, label to the vbox widget so self dot label now after this we need to also add the hbox layout in the vbox layout so vbox uh, so first let me just do it at the top so viewbox dot add widget and this is hbox layout and at the end you need to set the main layout to the viewbox layout not hbox layout so guys we have error uh, it's because uh, because for the layout when you want to add layout to another layout you need to use add layout not add widget okay so now these are my message boxes and this is my button and right now we are working on a yes no or multi choice message box uh, so now we need to create another method in here I'm going to just call it diff multi choice message so the first thing you need you need to create the object of question message box so it's a question message box like yes no question so we can say message uh, q message box dot question and the parent is self uh, also you can give a title so choice message and we need to give a text so do you like Python and now we need to add uh, the buttons for this so Q message box dot yes or Q message box dot no
now we are going to check so if our message is q message box dot yes we want to change uh, the text label and we can just say self dot label dot set text and I want to say yes I like Python and then in the, in the else case I'm going to just change this to self if it was no I want to set text to no I don't like Python okay now we have created our uh, multi-choice message method and now it's time to connect this with the clicked signal uh, so in the btn4 we can just say btn4 dot click the dot connect and add a self dot multi-choice message okay now if I uh, click on yes you can see that do you like Python and we have two buttons in here yes or no if I click on yes you can see yes I like Python and if I click on no no I don't like Python so like this you can work with the message boxes in PyQt5 uh, if you want the source code you can just check the video description